Yep, that happened. Right there. Right there. You can see, got in a wreck. And then this is broken. This is broken. Everything underneath this is broken. This tub that connects right here is broken. This latch does not release all the time anymore. See the height difference right there? This piece of plastic sticking out of the car and there's a dent. Where'd it go? Right there that you can see against the light, which means that fender was torqued pretty good. So I took it to Brandywine Coach Works to get an estimate because they do really good work over there and they're Tesla certified. $9,000 to fix it. I've asked them to replace every part that's damaged, not to, I don't want any Bondo on this car. I don't want any repaired parts, I want new. Because why? The car's new. So, it's gonna go in January 2nd. Actually, at this point, I don't even know if this weather seal is actually sealing anymore. But you should be careful driving in the rain. And I asked them to replace the hood, replace the fender. I mean, not the fender, the, the front bumper cover. And, uh, you know, I think the headlight's good. We'll see if they can remove that dent on the fender with paintless dent removal. Otherwise, I want a new fender. I want the car to be as it left the factory. Um, maybe with better gaps. But anyway, um, it's a shame it happened. The car has had 4,300 miles on it when it happened. I can't go back. I can't, I can't change it. I can't make it not happen anymore. You know, I can't, I, there's, it's filthy dirty because it's my daily and I was gonna wash it, but you know, kind of lost motivation after the accident. I'll probably wash it next week anyway. But, um, still drives great. There's no structural damage as far as, you know, drivability. Um, and I'm sure they'll make it, they'll make it right. But, you know, we'll find out what Tesla repairs like, uh, how long it takes to get parts of all, I was already um, warned that it's gonna take a long time to get parts. I've heard of cars sitting for six months or so, but having a little trouble with the insurance company right now because they do not want to replace the front bumper. There's some dings or two protrusions from the inside out that, you know, how, how would you fix that? Well, you, you'd sand it, create a hole, and fill it with body filler. It's not gonna happen. So, and then there's a loss of value of the car because the Carfax is gonna say it's been in a significant accident because of the price to repair it and because it's going through insurance. So I'm asking them to make up for that as well because I didn't do anything wrong, my car was parked. The cool thing about the Tesla is it notified me on the app uh, of, a, um, of you know, the sentry mode, recorded an event, and then it said the car alarm was going off and then, um, I came out to the car, that person was there, he's very apologetic, you know, obviously he didn't do it on purpose, he just didn't see my car. It was a work van just back right in, up into it. And he, um, you know, I got all his insurance information and all that. But, you know, the fact is the car will never be the same again. And, you know, it's, it's a real shame, but you can't dwell on that. So that's $9,000 to repair, replace all these parts and the paint and all that. I don't want any paint blending because it never works out well, in my opinion. Um, let's see, that gray Mustang right there, that had a front end accident and they, they blended the paint right in the middle of the door and you can easily see, not in the picture maybe, but you can easily see in person how it was blended and it just, I didn't like that. The, maybe the, uh, oh yeah, you can see, excuse me, I have camera motion here, but if you could see that at all and the, the reflection, that gap right there is quite huge in, in that since the accident, that, that, that shouldn't have been that way. Um, so anyway, I'm, I'm brand new on Coach Works will do a good job because they always do. And, um, oh yeah, the $9,000. So that's just to repair the car. That does not include the PPF, that's the entire front end has, and also the ceramic coating. So I've asked for an estimate for those two. I'm gonna submit that as well. So I need to talk to the insurance company about repairing it correctly, um, putting these, those, those things back on that I had paid out of pocket quite a bit of money to put those on. And also the, we're gonna need to address the loss of value of the car because it's pretty significant. And um, you know, I shouldn't be, I should be made whole from the accident. Um, can't even believe that happened, but 
let's not talk about that because I can't change it. So anyway, I'll keep you posted on what it takes to, to repair it, how long it's going to take and how it comes out. I'll make some follow up videos as we go. I'll, I'll leave you with pictures of the accident now.